to an a couple solo reacts. We are stepping into the next phase in our 31 Things of Horror. That is the American a Ghost Paranormal Hunter, Investigator, whatever they're phrased as. Now, looking back on our channel, I don't think we've done any, any Americans. And there's a lot of really good American paranormal investigators. A lot. The first that I've picked, I can't even believe we haven't done these guys yet, is Twin Paranormal. Now, I've known of Twin Paranormal for quite a while. So I don't really know why <laughs> we haven't done one yet. But I know that I didn't like their earlier stuff. And they've been going a, a, a couple of years. There's earlier stuff. There was no real, no real great structure to the way they were doing things. And then all of a sudden, they started doing these like series of you know certain things. The one we're looking at is called the series is called Family Nightmare. They started branching off and they're doing sort of themed sets of videos and the content become f in my eyes because I have watched a few the content became great and I was really really uh, glued to it at that stage their set of twins and a couple of friends go around haunted buildings and places and families and stuff in America and investigate try and resolve issues depending on what series you're looking at Trying to find out what's going on, if the, the, the demon, the ghost, is bad or good. Uh, this is a Family Nightmare Series 1, Episode 1, The Kent Family Story. Being the American Ghost Paranormal Investigators, production value is really high. The videos are slightly longer, so this these series of videos are going to be longer videos. Um... Just to let you know, we've got a couple of uh, American ghost hunters that we've got lined up. Jillian will be in on the next one. We're going to do a couple of Twin Paranormals. There's a few guys. Just These videos will be slightly longer. Production value is really high. These guys do really, really good stuff. They use, again, a lot like the Russian guys. A lot of technology involved. Um, but they explain all that when they're doing their videos and as if you've watched these guys you'll know the technology for them sort of uh, develops over I'm trying to adjust my screen here develops they get b bigger and better gear um, so I'm looking forward to this one I haven't dipped into A Family Nightmare that series yet I've looked at a few others just to see what they're at, and the, the content is amazing. So, here we go, guys. Just going to adjust my little screen on this as well. If it'll let me. There we go. Right. A Family Nightmare. Season 1, Episode 1. Here we go. Three, yeah. two... Before we jump into the new Family Nightmare series, we just wanted to give the Starving. Kent family a huge thank you for giving us that opportunity to go and investigate their home and give them the closure that they needed. So that's what I like to either do in these, you know, if there's an issue, uh, I try and help solve the issue, give clarity to the family if it's a, if they think it's a Family My name is Matthew Kent, and I've lived here since January of last year. My name is Nicole Ruff, and this is our daughter, Madison. We are here because we feel like there is something going on in our home and with our child that we don't understand. Um, a lot of things have been moving in our house. Bookshelves have been falling. Hats have been falling. Today was no. very scary. My vacuum cleaner turned on. Nobody was near it. Nobody. That's what I'm saying to you. I mean, their earlier stuff. 
there's no in my eyes there was no real structure in knowing this that they're, they're going to families that need their help they're being super respectful towards the family towards the so called ghost and, you know it's real good heartwarming almost heartwarming stuff that they're doing as well as being spooky as hell but he had touched it and I think that's why I am officially spooked and I need twin paranormals help Okay, Ghost Gang, this is going to be a completely different style of an investigation on this channel. Tonight, we are going to be investigating the home of the Kent family. They had contacted us because they are in dire need of our help. We were contacted earlier today by a stay-at-home mom by the name of Nicole. She had nowhere else left to turn, so she asked us for our help to find out what is going on inside her home. The things that they are experiencing in their own home is starting to worry them as it directly the affects their own children. There are a few key things that's been happening in their home. One Since of the main things the involves their two-year-old daughter who is seeing someone in the house and is calling that someone their friend that goes by the name of Lean. They contacted us so that we could try to find out if this is someone good that they know, like a family member, or this is someone else entirely, and if it means them and their family harm. So we are going to try our best to find out who is in that home, or if we need to help the Kent family get rid of a malevolent spirit or help pass on the good spirit. And that is what we are here to do. So that's what I mean, their contents change it really helping out people. And the production value is great as well. We have a few personal items here that are from our deceased grandparents that we feel might have a connection to what is going on. There's been a few times where our daughter will be blowing kisses to the air and say love you and we'll ask her who. All she is able to tell us is that it's a friend named Lean, and the only connection we can put together is Matthew's deceased grandmother, Colleen. Wow. She died at 55, renal failure. She, her kidneys gave out, and she was com about completely blind when she passed. She loved me, I loved her so much. Like, And a lot of my other family members, my mom, my dad, resented her for things that they claimed that she did to me, which I don't believe still to this day. Me and her were very, very close, and when she died, everything was kinda just dead. I got into alcohol real, real bad. I didn't want to care about anything. I just dropped out of school. Everything just kind of went bad for me. I have a set of longhorns that were taxidermied a long time ago, probably 30 years before I was born. She's had that forever and knows she kept sacred. Nobody was allowed to touch them. Nothing. Same thing with her Joe Montana plaque. Very, very sacred to her. She didn't want nobody touching them until she was long gone. Over my dead body was her exact words. Same thing with the Munchkins plaque up there. That came from her bar that she owned back in the 90s. A lot of the things that have been happening in the past year, I've been basically putting it off as maybe something just brushed it or maybe the wind knocked it off from the door closing or maybe I'm just imagining things, but it is becoming more and more intense. We've had shelves fall, picture frames break. We've had things fall off of my fridge when there was nothing on my fridge for it to fall from. Gee, Recently, a lot of things have been happening more often. It used to be maybe three or four times a week and now it's becoming two, three, four, five, six times a day. Three months after we mm. moved in here, I started to develop severe anxiety and panic attacks attacks and at one point I ended up having a seizure and I do not have epilepsy and it does not run in my family so I'm now losing sleep I'm having panic Jesus. attacks medications aren't working and I'm starting to feel like this might also be linked with who's here like I said I I don't have the answers to that I don't know when your son sleepwalks how long has he done it and what does he do so he's been sleepwalking for about four years now ever since I left my ex-husband a lot of the times he will actually it's weird because I wake up and he's just standing next he'll to my stand bed. At the bed and he'll start crying and he won't he won't tell you why or what what's he'll going on he'll start freaking out he'll start crying and he'll start panicking and usually he doesn't sleep with a shirt on but he'll start grabbing at his chest like he has a shirt on and then he'll start shaking me and grabbing my arm so I looked up sleepwalking, so I'll turn him around the other way and I'll help guide him back to his room and he'll go back to bed just fine. But that happens a lot with him. And then when he doesn't freak out, he's just standing over me and his eyes are closed, but he's just standing there with his arms crossed like this. Whoa. Or they'll be blinking really fast. 
Fuck. To whomever is in the Kent family's home, my name is Ryan. The guy holding the light right next to me, his name is River. That's what I mean, they're so respectful. The very towards. tall guy back near the kitchen. Whoever the ghost may his be. His name is Nick. And the other guy inside of the kitchen, his name is Wyatt. We are here to find out why. What are you doing in the Kent family's home? Their two-year-old daughter blows kisses to you. Is that correct? Can you make a noise in here for just, us? It must be an apartment, so just small place. What? Did you hear something? Yeah. A couple knocks. I thought you were just having a snack here, guys. Me? No, I... no, that was literally me. That sounded like. I heard that too. So this device that I'm putting over my ears is going to let me hear what none of the other guys can hear. I can basically hear as if a little pin dropped on the ground. So it's going to be that sensitive. If there's anybody in here, can you please let us know why you are in here? Right before that device just went off, I heard a whisper. It was like I couldn't finish the whisper because that the device just went off. But it was a whisper. Is there a reason why you are in this home? Why is it only that the two-year-old daughter of this family, why is she the only one Religion. able to see you? Religion. Religion? What we would like to know is, are you here to hurt this family? Because if you are, then you are not welcome here. Yeah. Oh my god, I just got the chills. Did you hear something? Yeah, and I just felt like a squeeze, like a, just like a body of energy just touching me. Yeah, the whole energy just shifted in this entire place. Her name is Nicole. Do you know her? Her boyfriend's name is Matt. What? Whoa. Guys, I just heard a, a whisper. I heard that with yeah. my own ears, Yeah, too. I was wondering. Yeah, like, if that was it heard a, like... It sounded to me like a yes. So you do know Nicole, the mother of the two children in this home. Are you connected to Nicole? Or are you connected to Matt, Nicole's boyfriend? What? I might have heard just, I can't. I heard can't. I didn't hear I. What can't you do? Can you just not say or? February. February. Does that date mean anything to you? February. That was a word we got was February. Does that? mean anything? The only thing I could think of is my dad's birthday is the day before Valentine's Day and my dad's dad is my grandfather who's deceased. He was a pilot in World War II and Korean War. That's the, 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 flag. the flag? The it's flag, the Texas flag on the ceiling is actually my grandfather's flag. That was okay. one of the last things that I was ever given from him. Wow. And I've had Jesus. that for over 10 years. I'm gonna go over towards the two-year-old daughter's bed and uh, see if by any chance I can find any energy spikes. This device that I'm holding in my hand is a device to where I can find out if you are here, in here with us right now. All you need to do is come up to this device in my hand Whoa. and grab onto this device. Don't move. Where? The 
corner. The bed? The little alcove between the couch. In her bed, yes. And her bed. Oh, shoot. To your left. Literally. There's something crouching down right to your left. Turn on the AMF. Right there, right there. That's it. Oh my god. Right there, right? Oh are my you, god, right there. Are you in the corner right now? Jesus. I'm gonna sit down right next to you. Is that possible? Yes. It says recluse. Recluse. It's on your. Oh, it's, it's on your arm. It's pointing in the corner. Are you touching my arm right now? It is. Thank you so much. Can you make it spike higher, please? Oh. There it goes. Right. There it goes. There it yes, goes. Thank yes, you yes. so much. Dude, I, I have the chills like no other two. It's still there. It's like shit. It's grabbed a hold of him. Why are you in this home? Are you connected to anything here? Can you please let go? Oh my god. I'm going to set this down on the couch if you can. Grab onto it please for us. Make it's it gone. spike. It's gone? It's gone. Don't. Young. Young. What? Young. Young. Nicole's two year old. That too. And that's her bed. It's there you go. It just went. Look, 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 look. That's, that's going it. crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Is it because she is young? Please spike it. Yes! Dude! So why? What is your reasoning? Listen to him getting all excited. Are you a caretaker? The other twin, the cameraman? protect her? Yes? That was one. Are you trying to hurt anybody in here? Other. Other? Other. It's not caretaker? even spiking. It's not... It, it went to yellow when it said yes. Is that correct? My arrow is pointing towards the bathroom. Let's turn the bathroom. That's correct. So you are not bad. That's a lot, I don't know. Okay, how about this? Spike it all the way to yellow once for yes, and then spike it twice to yellow for no. Are you here to harm the family at all? Is that twice? Spike it to yellow twice for no. Use my energy from my hand. Grab onto my hand and use my energy. Do you want me to let go? Is that why you're not touching it anymore? Just Whoa. spike as soon as I let go of it. Why? Now it's not. It's not doing anything. How odd. Who are you? Fuck! Oh, whoa, it's gone. Two things. Where? Wait, it's jumping around. Someone was just out right here, on the left side of the bed, by the wall. Sorry. Right there, that's where I saw it. Where are you? Are you in this general area? Oh my god. Oh what? my god. Yes. 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 As soon as they... There's something between you two on the couch. I apologize if I'm Still getting there. in your way. It's gone. I'm really confused. Why why is that going so crazy where the bears are? Beds. Or where the toys Beds. Beds? Beds. Is what? this where she sleeps? Here? This bed is where the two year old sleeps, yes. Are you on this bed? This is amazing. I just wanted to say thank you so much for contacting and and talking to us right now. We really appreciate you talking to us. You spiking and touching this device means so much to us. This family 
is very concerned if you are a good spirit or a bad spirit and we are here to find out if you are here to harm them try because if you do you are not welcome here this family does not deserve anything like that they are a great family and they are here to live but if you are here to protect them then please protect Wait. them something is dude my camera I've never seen this before. Literally had like a stripe go all the way through it. River, really? something is yeah. sitting on the back of the couch as well. There you go. Someone is sitting. Whoever's sitting on the couch, whoever's in here with us, please tell us your name. They are still there. Where? To the left. Where Where are we going here? Your left. You want to grab that EMF? Yeah. Something's right there against the wall. Gone. This whole Area, place dude. is just full of so much energy right now. I can feel it, man. I just, I yeah, can I really, really feel it. The energy shifted completely. Whoever was right at the couch is not here anymore. Do you want to ask me? I don't question? know where they went. Where did you go? Are you hiding now? Can you lead us to where you are? Using the little box in Ryan's hand. Was that you? No. Are you? you did You're you kidding. not hear that? I heard something. I thought one of you said You're something. You're kidding me. And it's spiking right in front of me. You stop! You stop! You stop! No! <laughs> Guys, something is right in front of me. I'm feeling cold. Yeah, I'm just, I can't. I'm just no, feeling I'm, I'm tingling. I won't go. River. Yeah. EMF. Are you grabbing onto me right now? What Over did you guys hear? I heard very, very light, I but I don't know exactly. I, I, I could hear that. Here? Yeah. Well, we're here. It, and I heard it point. over. I heard it like this way, In like over there. Okay, guys. By so, the closet. The Dude, by the closet. That's where I heard it. That's where the daughter always sees stuff. That's where she points. That's where she blows kisses towards. Yeah. Is this area? Lean. That was the clearest whisper I've ever heard in my life. Nicole's daughter calls you Lean. Is that your name? Lean. This is where she sees you all the time. Well, look at it, Spike. Can you come over here and, and grab onto this device? Somebody's family. 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 Are you part of the family? Are you part of the family? Are you a relative? Oh, just spiked. Yep, spiked. Please tell us your name. Anything left you you didn't get to say? I'd like to say, Mike. I just had like this white white thing flash right here. Really? Yeah. Super weird. Never seen that. Oh fuck! It's Another one. Same exact spot. Up the sofa. Someone's right here. SLS is picking it up. It's where it was. Mhm. Mm Gone. Is it because I I got in the way? Again. No. No. Again. It's just gone. Again. Whoa! 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 I just heard a no. I just heard a. Clean. No. Fear. 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 I just heard a clean no. Jesus, guys. You don't have to be afraid of us. There's somebody on the couch. Film this. Something's going on. Oh no. Oh, it was What's, gone. What's Someone going? was on the couch. Someone was on the couch. Right like there. Like sitting perfectly in the corner of the couch. The SLS won't record, but it was just mapping someone either laying on the small bed or right here by the couch. What do you mean it won't record? How are we seeing the stuff that he's got earlier on? I gotta... I gotta... Figure something out here. Wow. I'm just... I am... 
It's mind blown. The energy Yo. here is insane. That just spiked all the way to red. Yeah, it is. All the way to red? Yeah. It's still spiking. Dude, what's going on with my camera, bro? Yo, I feel so weird. It's so I'm not much... kidding. Like, something's wrong with my camera, guys. There's something happening all at once. This whole room is just full of so much energy, dude. I, I really would not blame this family for, for having weird incidents happening to them, man. The power is shut off. Okay, we, we have pretty much everything shut off. And even even still. Let's and it's see. it's intermittent. Even still, when you have power that's out. Look, the power is out, guys. This is a light switch, okay? This is where so much energy should be coming from. Okay. This is where so much energy should be coming from. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe that. Well, also, why, why, why not? Because that is, that's a fan, that is the light source, that is something that should be making this device go off, okay? Also, if we want to take into account really quick, if you see how intermittent this is, how if I take it anywhere, it'll spike a couple times, then it'll stop, and then it'll do that. When we Did were, it just say bed? When we were at Gold Hill Hotel, and we stood on the stairs, it was solid because there was some type of energy source there that was causing the device to spike. This is intermittent. It's random. It has... It, it's no energy source. I'm in, I'm in the middle of the room and it's going off. And this is a box spring. There's nothing under the bed. Whoa. Whoa, what was that? What is that? Where is that? I'm recording it on here. You are on the wall. Whoa! What, was, what that? was that? You are on the wall. Whoa! What was, what that? was that? that was loud. Guys, that was a, a voice. That, that was, was a voice. voice. That was very loud. Is that Look, a voice or a My camera just shut off. Look outside. Look outside. Look outside. Is that a cry? Are you guys recording? My I camera am. just shut off. I am. No, you're right. It sounded like that way. Hold on to this door. Nobody's outside. Not anybody is outside. Let me see this. Careful of the mic. This is where I heard it. Literally right along this area. Nobody's out here. There's a serious amount of action here. Sad. Sad. Also, Sad. guys, let's take into account one thing. The family mentioned something to us. One of the very first things they mentioned to us when we came inside here. The apartment above us is completely vacant. There is no one that lives there. The apartment that way is completely vacant as well. And the apartment right here is empty only because the people are traveling. There's no one around us currently. There's definitely Raised. someone in here. Raised. Oh! What's going on with my camera? Recording. What was that? Someone is along this edge right here. Whoa. Whoa, what was, what was that? that? What? Something happened that wasn't just oh. around. Mail. Male. Are you a male? Can you lift your arm and, and wave to me, please? If you are a male. Who is over there? Yo, I keep hearing exactly what they were saying. There's above us is vacant, and I keep hearing like thumping, that's what like a stomp. You said you heard the growl. That's what I heard. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Do you hear those footsteps, Michael? Michael? That is so weird. That's the daughter's name. My name is Nicole Ruff, and this is our daughter, Madison. This spirit had reached out through our devices and said Madison's name. Nicole had mentioned that her two-year-old daughter is the one who has been seeing this so-called lean. Now, this is probably the first time our device had said the name that we are looking for. This is pretty mind-blowing. Probably. Yep, and well. it feels like this could be some concrete evidence to show to the Kent family.
Sorry guys, I'm eating Skittles. That just shut off the whole program? Yeah. What? I was filming you in the This happened. has never happened. I think I just caught that. All of our devices are acting strange. Can you turn on this vacuum again? Oh, dude, if that Whoa. happened... I heard that knock. Whoa! That's, uh, weird. That's a bit, a bit dark. It's everywhere. I don't know. I uh, it I can't explain it, man. This is just strange. I want to try the spirit box, but on a, a low. Okay, we have a new device here. If you'd like to say something to us, here, here. here. Absent. What are you doing in here? I never understood how this thing works, but you can really fire out some crazy stuff. What was that? I don't know. I'm in here. Can you tell us your name? Again. You just heard enough? Oh my god, what was that? What was that? Power off. What? What was that? That was thumping, dude. I felt that. I felt yeah, it. Yeah, but that was like up in this corner. What? That Whoa. was fucking above. That was a slide. There's a chair scooting on the floor. We're sure no one lives up there? They're positive. They said no one's lived there for five months. Okay. It sounds like it's everywhere. That's how loud it is. It's still sliding. Jesus, listen to that. Did you just hear that? Did you hear that? I heard it. If you're upstairs and can hear me, oh my god! I had my my camera pointed right at him too. It was not Ryan. Did you just make that noise for me? Jeez, I was right in front of them. What? Did you just hear that? I heard it. What? what? It was a, a, a knock or something hit this. Oh, that freaked me out so bad. This is starting to get intense. Okay, so the guys are going to go outside while I stay inside here. Um, I'm gonna use the EMF meter to see if I can communicate with anyone or with whoever is in here. Oh, look at it go. Jeez, it's, the rim is full of so much activity. 
I'm going to see if I can get any better responses if it's just me and, and you. Okay, my name is Ryan, and this is my twin brother, River. We had decided to have the two other guys go back outside and just leave us in here with you. So maybe you can feel a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. Did you hear that? Did you just tap on that wall? Chair sliding. While they're inside conducting their own two-man investigation, me and Wyatt are outside trying to remotely watch them from the static cam they have inside. And we've been staring at it for a while, and we thought, well, maybe they're just sitting still, but no, it's completely frozen. And we tried to stop recording, but there's no way to even close it out or do anything. And this has never happened with this. Can you grab onto this device that's in my hand? What is going on? Jeepers. What is all that sliding? It does sound like someone's pulling a chair or a table or something. Can you grab onto this device I have in my hand, please? We're only here to talk to you and, and communicate with you and find out why you are here. Can you spike this device if you are a good person, if you have no means in hurting this family? Yeah. So you don't, you don't want to hurt this family? Wow. That was a good spike. Can you grab onto this more, please? I know you can. Come on. Show us that you are a good spirit. Thank Everybody you. Look Thank stronger. You. Whoa. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. And I know the family appreciates that too. So, are you a part of this family? Were you a part of this family? Spike it hard. Oh my. Dude, you I are just a got part of chills. Dude, I got the I chills got too. The chills so bad. So, you are a part of this family. So, are you a male or a female? Female. If you are a female, spike it really hard. Grab onto it really hard. Are you a male? Grab onto it even harder. Oh, look, oh, Jesus. So you are a male. <coughs> Hold on. Are there two of you here? Why was it that you turned on the vacuum? Were you just trying to let Nicole know that you were here? Grab onto it really hard. There's supposed to be yes, no questions, and he's asking real big detailed. Why did you if turn you would like to speak uh, with us and say uh -huh. anything you'd like to say, tell us how you're feeling, why you are here, what your name is, whatever you want to say. With the spike on it. If you were right next to me, why don't you grab onto this device? This thing that is on my knee. This is how you can talk to us with words. Let go of this. Just let go. Thank you for letting go. Can you now speak into this? For us, it's not even happening anymore right here. See that? Mm -hmm. Come closer. Nothing. Earlier, we were able to map you out sitting on the couch and standing near the little bed over in the corner. Nicole's two year old daughter's bed. Are you show? Oh, wow. Loving. 
Are you showing yourself to Nicole's two-year-old daughter because you were there to protect her and be friends with her? That device is not even spiking at no. all anymore. Thank you for focusing your energy on something else. Helpful. 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 Loving and helpful. What is helpful? Are we being helpful? Or are you trying to be helpful? Is it because we are communicating with you so that we can let the family members of this home know why you are here and what you what you are doing here? I just what are, saw what something did I just over see? there. Did you grab it? Yeah. But I don't know exactly. We what can let the family members of this home know why you are here and what <gasps> you what you oh, are I see doing. Oh, there's a big shadow. I just saw something over there. Did you grab it? Yeah. But I don't know exactly what it was. Oh, oh did you hear that? Yeah. That was somebody sitting on the bed. No, 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 no. It sounded like something just like uh, got set down or moved. Okay. I really don't. I don't think at all that this is a malicious spirit. No, I don't I, believe. I don't feel any negative vibes. Mm -hmm. I feel really positive. And I think that's important because uh, we haven't gotten anything that, that is negative at all. No. Uh, we've gotten good responses. Yeah, I do understand why Nicole is worried for her family is because you never know. You really don't. I just want to let you know that we do believe that you are a good spirit, a good person. You are here for a good reason. Let's bring your camera back in. Let's gather up the guys and have a talk. Okay. So basically, um, when River stood up and just just a moment ago uh, ran around into the son's room in the kitchen and was looking around, right when he turns back around to go back to uh, sit with you on the bed, an orb or something goes from right all the way to the left from the kitchen and it looked like it almost went to the bathroom or just disappeared. Okay, that is amazing. High five because we literally heard a noise. River got up because he heard a noise in the sun's area. I'm 100% positive that this spirit is a good spirit. Whoever is in there answered a couple of our questions with our EMF meter. So that is very good news. Now. There's one this thing I, like I really want stuff. to do before we go. So this is the way it's going to go. I want to get Nicole into the room with us. Help out and we can give her a little bit of closure so that she knows closure, that this spirit sort of does not way. mean any harm. Good That's news. Cool. There's definitely somebody in there. That is for sure. Okay. Now, our device did not pick up anything negative. Nothing negative at all. Everything was very positive and uh family words were coming in. So we think that maybe one of your guys' family members is looking over you. There's so much energy in there, which is insane. And we'll and show it's, you, it's we'll awesome. show you what we mean about it. Yeah, it's, we've, it's we've, amazing. We've never had our uh, EMF meter spike and continue to spike. Um, and for whatever reason, it is spiking like crazy in there. Okay. Now, so, one thing that could be causing all of that energy to happen is lots of love. That's a really, love is one of the strongest forms of energy. Forms of energy, really. Everything that we got was <coughs> so positive. We even uh, picked up um, a couple of, of figures on our SLS right next to your daughter's bed, hanging around there. Very, very specifically, the very first one we caught was right on the other side of the and bed. That can either the left side between the couch make, between it puts the you at ease or fucking scare you at the right same thing. There. It was right when we were standing right there. There was a figure right there. Once the figure disappeared on our SLS, we asked where it went, and it said, "No, you stopped." So we lost track of it, but it doesn't seem like it's there to harm. The energy is very. It is. It is intelligent. It is strong but it doesn't feel negative or heavy. So that's a huge relief. Yeah, I, <laughs> my I, biggest concern was my daughter's safety because I don't know. Definitely. We want to let you know that we will be here. Uh, if you call, uh, if you feel something negative or anything like that, we'll be here. Thank um, you. And we also have our medium. He'll come by if needed and uh, cleanse the place or anything. Yeah. A lot of this didn't oh, add cool. up and 
now some of it's starting to add up. We believe she's safe. When I step into a building and we are dealing with any type of spirit, I can feel it so fast. Like when I first entered your home, I felt tons of energy. And what was really amazing is that we were able to prove that we were, you know, we felt all of that energy. That also, crazy. Yeah, absolutely, no, you're not crazy. No, you're not crazy. You're not crazy. I've been getting that for so long that I'm crazy. Kids go through these phases, but this has happened since we moved in in January 6th yeah. of last year, and it's just been getting more and more escalating. So this is just a relief to know that whatever it is, it's yeah. not here to harm us. You in know? a way, you can take it as something comforting, that something is there, something that you cannot see that right. sees you, that in a way is protecting you. Did you want to go in there? And... Yeah, we can go in there. Cool. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's good. A good sort of end to it. Get out the EMF and, and show her like what we mean about Okay, so energy. this is wild. I'm gonna let you hold it. You just click this and just hold it. Nicole's holding the device. Can you please grab onto this device so that you can show Nicole that you are here? Nicole just wants to know if her family is safe. That is what is really oh important. Imagine it doesn't do it. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. She doesn't know what to do. Now, what does that tell you? Is that weird or what? It's really weird, and my jacket just shut off, and my that battery's is, full. That's odd. No way. My battery on my jacket was full. I mean, battery. Because you have to hold it down for it to turn on and off. Thank you so much. This device does not always go off. No. This device is, is very keen to energy and just anyone who can manifest that type of energy, whoever is in here, is strong. Very strong. Mm hmm. And it's, it's good for you though, because I don't, there's nothing evil here. I'm just glad that you guys were able to come help and reassure me that my yeah. daughter's safe. I, of course, yeah, absolutely. we are more than happy to do I anything really do like appreciate that. it, like more than I Hook up was good. No problem. There you go, that was very good. A good start to the American Ghost Hunters Twin Paranormal. A, a happy ending. I, I don't know if they're all going to be happy endings, but a happy ending all the same. So there you go, that's part one of the, the American adventure that we're going to have over the next few episodes. Not strictly Twin Paranormal, but we will be doing some, some others. Hope you like that. Don't forget to hit like. Subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you in the next one, guys.